Hey guys, my name is Jessie Mew, and welcome back to our Harmony Islands, where in the last episode we ended on a little bit of a shocker after another one of those males invaded our gathering side of the island, and because he had the toxic body, he actually ended up getting our Rossi sisters sick with poison. So I sort of messed up on that one. I definitely messed up. I did not realize that because he had the toxic body, he would poison these guys, and that's something that we're actually going to have to really keep an eye on in the future. And I'm wondering if because he spawned in this little area of swamp. That's why he had the toxic body. I'm not sure if that's the case, and I'm a little bit disappointed in myself that I didn't allow him, as strange as it sounds, to possibly breed with a couple of our females here, because at least it would have given us some different genetics. I know some of you guys pointed out that he actually had a um, different immunity gene that no one else in our pack has right now, so I am really disappointed in myself. But that's something that I'm going to keep an eye on in the future, especially because we have so few males right now. We are running so dangerously low on unrelated males that we could possibly breed in this pack, so we can't really be too picky at this point. Um, I did forget also to show you guys this brand new baby that was born from Izmir and Kirkir. I believe that's his name, right? Um, yeah, Kirkir. So their next son, which um, we did manage to get a son from him, which is excellent, is Tavanku, which is an adorable name. And he has, again, both of those paws, just like his father. Though you guys mentioned that I might actually want to start breeding the Aline body on these guys, especially the ones that are um, so slow with their double paws, their double claws, or their berry paw in their claw. Um, it makes them very, very slow and that is extremely difficult in this area where there's so much swampland because uh, they move even slower when they're going through the swamp. So we have a bit of a situation here because Kosi is very close to the end of her life but she's also pregnant with possibly her very last child so we need to somehow get her to one of these nests and I would also maybe like to breed Lala before this episode is over, before she passes away anyway. And I was thinking since um, Van Van Van, um, should we call him something different, maybe like Vanny or something? I was thinking since he was so close to this area, um, he would be the one who would breed with Lala, and then we'll just try to get her to one of these nests before she passes away. Because oddly enough, because she's in this like secluded, um, isolated part of the family tree, her genetics have become pretty rare in the pack. She has a B and A, and I've noticed that quite a few of our males at the moment are sitting here with um, H and G. Let's see, we have um, Dukirda who has H and G, and then Tavanku who has B and H. So we probably want to breed her and we'll see if um, that works out. And then of course we have poor meme way over here who I don't think is going to be able to eat from this fruit. It really doesn't seem like it's spawning back. Some of you guys mentioned that I might need to leave it in the dark for it to spawn. So if it doesn't work, if we're still sitting here and nothing is coming out, then um, we will try that out as well. But if she does end up passing away, then I feel like that's going to be Nunuvan's sign that he needs to take all of his daughters and pack up and go to this side of the island where he um, discovered with the Ducro before he passed away. So I think that's what's um, going to happen here. And poor Kirkuku, who tried to take over his brother's family, is going to be here all alone with um, Komi, it looks like. But let's see, where should we start this day? Because we do want to make sure that um, all of our babies are safe first of all, because we have the bird in our skies again, so we have to make sure they're safe. But to start things off, I think I would actually like to bring Vanny over here to a breed with Lala. And let's see, the bird is making a move. Like I always keep my eye on that guy just in case, but I think we're okay right now. So we'll have him breed with um, Lala, and then hopefully she can get to one of these nests. She moves a little bit faster, so it should be a little bit easier for her to get there. Um, let's see though, Tavanku, if we could move you out of the nest, let's see, if we have your mother go right here, and then you can go right here, then you should be perfectly safe. Hopefully. <laughs> I always second guess myself, but hopefully he will be perfectly safe because he needs to stay alive. He definitely needs to uh, help his uh, his little island thrive if he's one of the only males that we have. But there we go. Lala can actually sit in this nest so that hopefully, hopefully if Kosi doesn't pass away, um, she can get to this one right here. Oh my gosh. I don't know if she's going to be able to though. She moves so slow in the swamps. That's going to take all of her turns just to get to the very edge of this nest. Oh, that is 
is terrible. I don't know if she's going to have enough life left in her to actually give birth to that baby. That is absolutely terrible. And we have so many creatures over here too. It's getting um, very, very chaotic with all of the different creatures we have. But Rarami, why don't you go ahead and pick up some of these berries since you have the berry paw? Um, it looks like your little sister Kois also has one, so you can pick up these. And um, we also have Cease back here who can pick a couple of these too. I would like to get some creatures with the double berry paws again. I think that would be nice to have just on our gatherers at least. And our poisoned Rossi sisters. At the very least, you guys can peek in this grass so that hopefully we won't have um, any of those situations again. Let's see, little Rossi, you can come over here as well. And um, why don't we move you right here? There we go, so that they can look in on the rest of this grass in the next turn when they have a little bit more energy. But we're going to have to remember to keep an eye on them um, every single day when it passes, just to see if the poison wears off on them or if they're honestly going to be sick for the rest of their very, very short lives. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for doing that to them. I didn't even realize that that would happen. Um, let's see, we have some berries back here that we can pick though. So Kira Kira, why don't you do the honors? And um, Anna Kor, you should probably continue exploring, I guess. I mean, I know it's a risky move because she is a female, so that leaves her quite vulnerable to all of the things off in this grass. But um, she has been very strong so far. She's done a lot of exploring for us, so I don't feel like that's really um, hindering her right now. And Izmir and Kirkir, they should probably have a couple more babies in the future just because we really need to get some more males in the pack. And I know we have bred them many, many times, but it is quite important that we uh, keep our male population high. So we're going to take as many as we can get. And Meme, on what might possibly be your last turn, you might as well just gather up some of these berries for us. I think that's about all we can possibly do with you because I do want to keep um, your last little baby safe as well. And yeah, I think in the next uh, turn, as long as um, this little baby grows at least, so that we can keep her safe from the bird. Um, wait a second, did the bird go away again? Uh, no, it's way over there. Oh my gosh, I thought it actually went away. Where are you going? What on earth are you hunting? I mean, do you think there's like a little uh, colony way out here somewhere? We should probably investigate that. There might be some like wandering little creatures out there. We did find Lanair when she was a baby, so who knows? There might be another one way off in the distance. And Vanny, why don't we start bringing you up here as well so you can at least be near your mate, especially if they're going to pass away at the same time. That's going to be so sad. They really did um, very well for the pack though, just making sure that um, that carnivore in the last episode was taken care of because our little acorn duty members were having quite a bit of trouble since um, the carnivore was looming right by them. They wouldn't have lasted. Lala and Anasi definitely would have had some trouble taking care of that guy on their own. But it will be nice when Lala has her baby because then at least um, he or she will be able to provide a company for Anasi. We do need to make sure that these creatures are still um, under these trees and the no pod babies are actually quite good for that because they can still pick up the acorns. So we could possibly breed Anasi too if we find a suitable uh, male for her. It wouldn't be a terrible thing to have um, those no pod babies just because we do know that they have a purpose on the island. But let's see, um, I think we just have Nunuvan who can pick a couple of these berries for us and that might be all that we can do unless we have Kirkuku come over here and peek in this grass, which might also be a very good thing. And um, Kolasi can do the same. She can come over here, peek in this grass. We want to clear out as much as possible. So it is very unlikely that um, any of those males are going to be ambushing us again. But I think that might be just about it. Um, you can peek in here. Um, let's just make sure. I think that bird, yeah, it's like swooping a little bit closer maybe. It is really interested in this tree though. That's really something. Oh man, if we can get some of our males to like carve a path up there too, that would be really cool. Um, I do want to actually make Dukirta maybe the heir to this side of the island, just like his father. So he will probably be taking on those special gems once he grows up. But let's go ahead and skip the turn now. We'll see all of these brand new babies. Um, and we will also check and see if these guys are still poisoned. So let's watch them first. Um, I didn't see, oh no, there it is. Oh my gosh, and Rossi number one, you're sick too? Oh my goodness, you are having a terrible day, aren't you? An absolutely terrible day. And then um, Rossi number two, you need your other gem. Oh my goodness, but look at this one. Look at this little baby, a blue-eyed spit snout baby. Did you name it Comey? You named that baby Comey too? Oh my gosh, they are using the same names over and over again. Um, let's see, so Comey number two now. You have immunity gene B and G. 
Anna, she also has the blue eyes. Unfortunately, it is a girl, so that's not going to help us out with um, our male situation. But she has um, the berry paw just like her mother, so that's pretty good. She can come over here and keep Anasi company anyway, and also um, help her pick up any of these acorns that are in the area. Um, and let's see, did we have another baby to look at? Um, I guess we didn't because we need to move Kosi straight over here. Is she going to make it? Oh my gosh, that is really pushing it close. Let's have her sit right here, and then we'll just cross our fingers that all of it works out. And Meme, you survived. You actually survived the night. That is such a good sign, but oh my gosh, there's no way that she's going to survive this one. Oh man, and the plant is still not there, guys. We have been watching it for so long, but it's still not there. I know it does take a very long time for it to respawn, so it could just be that it's taking um, a little bit longer than usual. But look at this, Renair grew up. How beautiful does she look? Oh, I hope we can find a male somewhere for her to have babies with too, because I definitely want to continue this little line. But yeah, I have a feeling that we're going to have to start moving these guys off. So Anair, why don't we scoot you out of the nest so you can at least grow? It does seem like um, the babies don't grow when they're sitting on the nest with their mother, so we do want to move her out of the nest. Um, but we have a couple of these berries that we can pick at least. Meme, with your very last turn, why don't you give us a little bit of food? And um, let's see, Nunuvan, you are going to start taking your family off into the distance, aren't you? Let's just see if that bird is still around. Um, yep, still by that tree. I am going to send, like, an expedition team up there to see what is by that tree because that is making me very, very curious. But Nunuvan, as long as your baby is safe, I think you're going to start uh, packing your bags pretty soon, right? We're going to make sure that um, your little baby is protected, though. So I guess we'll leave them there for now, just in case, because if Meme dies, then she might not have anyone actually watching over her. I'm not sure if the two gemmed babies can help out. And Komi is the child of um, Kirkuku and Meme anyway, so I have a feeling that Nunuvan would not want that child watching over his own daughter. Now let's have some of these guys start picking up their berries again. Um, Kois, it looks like you can have your other gem. And uh, we're still waiting for Dukirta to grow up, so he's not ready just yet to take on the uh, duty of being the heir to this side of the island. But Van Van Van, I mean, with your last few turns, you can come over here and peek in this grass too, so we can clear out a little bit more of this, I guess. Um, that might be helpful. And you have a little acorn to pick up. There we go. We need to have somebody over here helping you, though. We really, really do. Um, Lala, do you think you can actually make it back? Um, your little baby is definitely protected here. So in her last days, maybe she can come back and uh, finish helping her apprentice gather up all of these acorns. There we go. She has taught her very well too, so that's good to see. And I think she'll probably have another turn or two left in her so they can just quietly pick up the rest of their acorns from underneath this tree and uh, spend the rest of her days talking with her little apprentice. I have a feeling that she would start to think of her as like a daughter almost because she spent so much time with her. Now, Rossi number one, with your cold and your poison, you are having such a terrible day. Um, why don't you come right here? And then um, you can look in all of this grass too. We do want to start clearing out the desert area anyway. Um, this is actually how we would migrate to the hard mode island, right? So that's something we're going to have to think about in the future. Um, certainly not right now because we have so many other things to explore out here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, but it looks like there's a little bunny over here. So Anacor, you can actually grab this guy. There we go. We haven't seen many bunnies because they don't seem to spawn anymore um, when you're too close to the burrows. So Colossi, why don't you scoot off this way? Oh my goodness, and even more bunnies. Perfect. So you can gather up these. There we go. They were munching on our berries, unfortunately, but at least we managed to get a little bit of meat. And um, there's just a couple more of these bushes that we can collect from. I do want to see if we can um, breed anyone with Rarami. It might actually end up being Dukirta once he takes over the side of the island. Um, we'll have to see if that's the case. Like I said, we can't be too picky about um, which males we breed with at this point, just because we are so low on uh, males right now. I do want to see if we can have one more baby with Izmir and uh, Kirkir very soon, probably in the next turn. But for now, we can peek in that grass. We want to leave Kosi right there and cross our fingers that she's going to be able to uh, actually have her baby. And then Dukirta, we want to move you in a better location too. How about up here? So that when you grow, um, you will be able to protect anyone if something 
something comes charging out of the grass right here. Now, I do want to keep an eye on all of these babies, though, because this guy has come back. <laughs> he has come back to a loom over our tribe. So we have this little one sitting next to his mother, and we also have Komi, number two, um, sitting next to Kois. So I think they'll be okay. What we could do is have Rossi, number two, look in this grass right here, and then look in um, this grass here as well. And then I think we are just about done. Um, you can peek there. And that should be it. So I'll skip the turn now. Um, and we'll keep an eye on the Rossi sisters yet again. And keep an eye on Kosi too. Oh my gosh, Kosi! Kosi died, but she did give birth to her child. Look at that. Kiravan, he doesn't have any patterns, but look at that gorgeous mane. Oh my goodness. Kiravan, um, he is not the healthiest of babies, but he will definitely help us just because he is a male. And um, let's see, these guys are still... Um, oh, they're not poisoned. Rossi still has her cold, but it looks like the poison has finally worn off. Oh my goodness, what a lifesaver. So unfortunately, they have lost quite a bit of their lives just battling that poison. And poor Rossi, number one with her cold, she's almost lost about half of her lifespan. Oh, that is terrible. Um, let's see though, is there anyone else that we need to take a look at? Meme, no! Meme did pass away! So this is going to be Nunu Van's chance. He is going to say, all right kids, all right, all of my daughters, it's time to pack up and leave. But we need to keep a very close eye on Anair. So, Renair, why don't we have you move right here? Um, oh my gosh, this bird is coming right over too. It knows exactly what we're doing, and it's keeping a very close eye on our little baby. So let's have her move right here so that she's protected by her sister, and then Nunuvan can move like right next to them both. Um, actually, if we move him right here, then he can at least pick from the berry bush. And then poor little Komi is left all alone, so actually her father should probably come over here to uh, make sure that she has company, and then he can also pick up all of these berries in the meantime as well. And luckily, Lala has survived, but this might actually be her very last turn. So on her last turn, she can at least pick up her acorns with her little apprentice, and they can headbutt the tree together and pick up a couple more. Oh my gosh, I'm going to miss her. She has been like a staple of this island, just sitting under this tree collecting the acorns along with um, her little apprentice, Anasi. So it's going to be sad when they pass away, but we will have um, her daughter um, come back over here at some point, and I just noticed, oh my goodness, that she might be actually unprotected. So let's see, Rarami, can you actually sit like right here? There we go. She can watch over the babies for now. Um, let's change Cease, your last gem, over to blue because you are part of our gathering line. And um, Tavanku, you can also have another blue gem, I believe. And I feel like now that he's grown up, he might start to wonder what's on the other side of the island too. I mean, his cousin is going to be taking over this island. He's going to be the new leader with the special gems. So he might want to actually start branching off, go past the swamp and see what lies on the other side over here as everyone is kind of migrating away. So what we might do is actually have Devanku start making his way over here while he's still little. And um, we also want Kirkir -Kir to breed with his mate. But let's take a look at this um, mutation menu first. I think what I'll do is I'll place the lean body in here. We'll place it um, at the 30% slot actually. And we'll also place, let's see, the berry paw in here. Yeah, let's place the berry pot in there for now, just um, in the hopes that maybe we can have some double berry pod collectors. Now, hopefully they have enough life left in them. Um, it seems like they do. So we'll go ahead and breed them. And then if we can have um, little Komi come right here, then we can have Izmir sit in the nest and then she should be able to give birth in the next turn. And we have another bunny. Oh my goodness, there must be a little bunny burrow right over here somewhere because they keep picking out our berries. But we do also need to uh, move this way too. Like maybe in the next episode, we'll start moving off of this way if we can have um, enough explorers in the area. If we have um, enough males who can come with us at least. Otherwise, it seems like our females are definitely going to fall um, victim to those wandering males. And it looks like you're still alive too. Oh, just barely. Oh my goodness, look how tiny that little sliver of life is. Well, at least he could peek in this grass over here, and I did just check to see if our little um, fruit was back, but it's not, so unfortunately, we can't even dream of, like, flinging him over there to eat it. Oh my gosh, this guy, he was one of my favorites. He honestly was. His eyes and his beautiful mane, and actually, his very last son ended up having a very similar mane color. They might have the exact same mane color. Oh, that is really cool. They have different noses, though, and um, he actually didn't get the ram horns because he has the big nose. 
So at least uh, we're getting a little bit of genetic diversity in here too because for a while basically every single creature on our island had the ram horns. But it looks like we just have exploring left to do over here. So Rossi number one with your cold, <laughs> still with your cold, you can come down here and at least peek in these areas for us. Actually, she could go right here. Um, I'm definitely not going to be hitting that migration tile though. I have to be very careful of that. And then Rossi number two, you can peek in this grass and uh, this as well. Now this bird is hovering right over this poor little baby right here. Um, I don't think he can swoop him up because he has the two gems. I did read on the developer's uh, Twitter page that it's only the one gemmed creatures who can actually get taken away. So I'm just going to keep a very close eye on that to see if that is the case. And Kira Kira, why don't you start scooting up this way for now? Um, he can peek in this grass and his daughter can actually help him. She'll go right there for now and we'll just cross our fingers that nothing pops up right there. She's a very feisty individual so she doesn't want to uh, stay seated right next to that berry bush for the rest of her life. She wants to do a little bit of exploring. Um, Kolasi, why don't you do just the same? You can come over here and make sure that the area is clear for your family. It is risky to move so many females off where so much of this uh, grass still is, but we're going to just cross our fingers and do our best. Now, why don't we have you guys pick up your berries as usual, and then that might be just about the last thing that we can do for this turn. We could just have Dukirta move a little bit further up here to make sure that everyone is protected. He should be growing up in his next turn too, actually. So let's go ahead and skip the turn here and see what this uh, next little baby is going to be like. Hopefully, oh my gosh, hopefully it's going to be a, another male. So many of these creatures are passing away now too, and there's some more rustling grass. Oh, that is not good. But look at you, I think you actually have the lean body. Yeah, you do, Lazari. Okay, so double claws, which is a little bit unfortunate because we did like literally just put the berry paw in there, but a double claws, a lean body, and the ram horn. So what does that do for your strength, I wonder? A six. Okay, so not as good as our eight strength members, and uh, that probably means that they won't be like sentinels, I guess, but that's still good. That's still definitely going to help us if there's a carnivore in this grass. So let's see, we want to change um, Dukirta's gems over to that special combination that we always have. Let's see, that should be orange and this one should be blue because he is going to inherit the side of the island, especially because his father literally just passed away. So what perfect timing for him to finally grow up and have all of his gems. And let's see what's in this grass, I guess. I don't really know if I want Rossi to do the honors because she will end up uh, falling victim to the male if that's what it is. I guess what we could do is move Dukirta here and if this creature moves, I mean, it's not moving. So I'm assuming that means it's probably not the male. Uh, let's just risk it. Let's see what this is. Let's go in here. Oh, okay, it is one of the carnivores. So luckily, Rossi number two does have an eight in strength, which means she should be able to take him out in two hits. There we go. Excellent. This is why I love our little beasts because they can completely shatter these carnivores. But all of these babies are safe, right? I believe they are because we have um, Rarami watching over them and of course Izmir as well. But let's see, we need somebody to come over here and pick up the meat too. So Cease, why don't you scoot in here, grab the meat and then uh, peek around on the grass a little bit. And uh, Dukirta, you can kind of peek around as well just to make sure that all of your, um, your little pack mates are safe. Since he's taking over the island, he does need to make sure that everyone is safe. Now your cousin was starting to make his journey over to the other side of the island, so we're going to allow him to continue to do so. Um, we're going to keep him in the grass though, just so that he can move a little bit faster. And that bird is really eyeing him up. Oh no, oh no, what is that? I saw that over here. So Colossi, um, you were being very, very brave over here, but we might want to have your father actually look in here first. Oh, it's just a bunny. <laughs> How funny is that? It's just a little bunny. I was so worried that it was going to be one of the males, but it's just a tiny little bunny. So Nunuvan, you can actually pounce on him, grab him, and then um, we can have Colossi come over here and pick up the meat. And it looks like we have a couple of berry bushes over here, or like shriveled up berry bushes anyway that we can use in the future. And now it's just your two daughters over here who need to start making their way back to um, the family. So there we go. We can have uh, Renair pick the berries on her way through, and then she can come over here. And uh, pretty soon we're going to have to clear out all of this grass. So hopefully um, Nunuvan and his daughters can help him just clear out this entire area so they can make their own little family here. We do need a male though to hopefully uh, bring in his genetics to the side of the island. So I'm just crossing my fingers that we're going to have a nice one born that can possibly do that. I mean, Kirvan with his double G's, that might be a good idea. Do these guys have G's? 
Um, Renair doesn't, okay, and Inair doesn't either. So that might actually be our like saving grace here. Colossi does have a G, so he wouldn't be breeding with Colossi. But we could have him make his long journey over. Once he grows old enough, he can make his journey just like Tervanku, and uh, he can go way over to this side of the island to hopefully spread his genetics as well. And Alala, you are still alive too. Oh my gosh, you're another one who is just barely hanging on to life right now. I have a feeling it's because she enjoys spending her time with um, Anasi right here. She's enjoying it so much that she just doesn't want to let go. But you can rest easy knowing that your daughter, once she grows up, We'll be able to uh, come over to this little tree and take up your legacy and uh, probably learn for that matter from Anasi too. That would be really cute. But yeah, I think uh, once we find a suitable male, if we have enough of uh, these males being born into the pack, then we will probably still breed Anasi. Um, even if the baby ends up with two no paws, we know that they can be helpful, so there's no troubles there. And we have so many trees all across this island that um, they will definitely have plenty of work for them. It's almost like a star. Look at that. They're all dotted in uh, the different corners of the island. That's pretty cool. But yeah, in the next episode, I think what I would like to do is start moving our creatures off toward this tree because I am very, very curious to see what is over there. And of course, we are going to follow the journey of Travanku as well as he makes his way to uh, different corners of the island. He's kind of left his family behind too. It's kind of like he's waving goodbye as he leaves his family to uh, find his own place on this island. But I think that's about it for now. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye guys!